The second idea is a bio wall, which is um, a great system, a modular system, which is developed by uh, Case. Um, there have been a couple others around, but Case is developing a very innovative system, which they think will be a lot more efficient. Um, and basically what it does is it's a, it's a wall of growing plants, which you can run your HVAC system through, and it'll purify the air, um, eliminating um, volatile organic compounds, as well as um, you know, taking out carbon dioxide and adding oxygen, which will make it so you don't have to pump the air outside as often, making it so you don't have to reheat it saves a lot of energy loss. They say it can increase the efficiency of HVAC systems by up to 50%. So that would, I mean, it could pay itself back within two years. The last um, idea is absolutely revolutionary. I will go on record as saying I think it would save more carbon emissions than anything else. It's the transformation of the auto, of the auto industry through something we call the Rensselyrical. It would, um, the goal would be to address the entire life cycle. So what we keep doing is trying to make a better electric auto, something that decreases gas mileage. This says the real problem is that we want to replace our auto every time a new one comes along. We want to replace an auto every couple of years if we're wealthy. And so the idea here is that you create a, a modular vehicle. We call it the Rensselyrical. The base model is something that you would have, and you, you would once you buy it, you'd own it for 20 or 30 years. It's a lifetime vehicle. It has motorized, um, each, each uh, wheel has uh, its own motor, so it's set up to be driven by any sort of electricity you want. And then you can put tack-on panels. So if you want to change from a Ferrari to a Cadillac, you simply change the exterior panels. You don't change the whole car out. You don't change the whole drivetrain, the wheels, the, the whole works. And if you get an upgraded battery, if some new system comes along, you change out from the drive, the power source compartment, you change that out and, and put the new thing in. But it is not, it gets completely away from the, from the um, idea of a throwaway consumer vehicle. And it would probably wreck the auto industry, but they're on their last legs as it is right now, so probably now is not a bad time to, uh, to introduce it. Um, also, a local composting facility, which would be really important, not just composting everything, not just about composting, but that you can use the methane gas from composting to power, to get energy. Um, and um, UNH in New Hampshire, they do that, and they have 80% of their energy done by po composting. So it's like a very large amount. A crazy idea that's kind of had some uh, popularity here is using the uh, bikes from the Mueller Center to actually uh, power, use some of that power. Um, to cut down on the energy costs of the Mueller Center. So getting uh, sustainable products out very clearly. Um, an example is the Rensselaer Eco Button. It's a, a USB connected um, counter uh, and hibernator for computers. And it instantly, by pressing it, you instantly hibernate your computer at almost zero um, energy consumption. It instantly reawakens when you touches it and tells you how much energy you just saved. Cogeneration and geothermal energy. Um, this is a big one. It would be high cost, but also high return. And it would take a lot of time, but we could use um, cogeneration by uh, using the extra heat from the Rensselaer power plant and create more energy from that. And geothermal could tap into like the underground heat and help heat all the buildings up here. It is a smart refrigeration system. The idea is to build this build your refrigerator into the building envelope so that you in the winter you use the natural cooling outside rather than maximizing the use of your Freon and similarly when you're going to discharge hot air in the summer you discharge it outside rather than discharging it inside and then air conditioning the space because you heated it so it's just using refrigerators more smartly